All right, Miss Maria Diaz, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. Thank you for coming on the show. My pleasure. <laughs> Imagine with your busy schedule, especially all these, these shows you've been winning and you've been tearing up the scene. Yeah. <laughs> it's always, yeah. I mean, for me, just I, I love doing it. So I don't see it as a, a, like, a sacrifice or anything like that. It's just, you know, it's part of my life. So I love it and mm -hmm. I enjoy doing it. Mm -hmm. Now you're uh, you're in Jersey. No, in Boston. You're in Boston. Okay. For some reason, I thought you were in Jersey. Um, how is Mass? Is it? Are you guys still shut down? Are you back open or what? No, we're actually very good now. We have like fully um, open, uh, no mask. You know, just different. You know, depending on the location, mm -hmm. uh, they make you wear a mask. But um, no, everything is very good. Yeah, thank God. No more mask. Oh, I know. I know. I spoke to somebody. Who did I interview the other day? He's out in California. Um, they still got to wear a mask out there, I guess. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, you know, California is its own element. Yeah. Working <clears throat> out with masks is not a good thing. <laughs> no. So you're a, you're a IFBB pro figure division. Um, yes. Have you always done figure? Yes. Okay. And uh, mm -hmm. we'll, we'll talk a little bit about you, if you don't mind. Like, when did, when did you start competing? And are you always in the sports? Or so? so I was always an athlete. Uh, I did um, gymnast. I mean, I was a gymnast uh, when I was, uh, let me see, eight years old up to 12. And then I was a cheerleader when I got here. I was mm -hmm. into, you know, volleyball, too. Um, but because, um, let me see, the language barrier kind of got me uh throwing up like here in the uh, united states and uh i kind of like went my own way and then that's when i met my husband i was 17 yeah mm -hmm. and then i got got into the sport not competing but you know working out and i love the whole idea of uh getting i mean i'm a competitor like i would i don't know i love competing so mm -hmm. um then i asked my husband like do the, do you guys have like you know bodybuilding competitions mm -hmm. i didn't even know about it so he's like yeah but like he was not very into the whole comp competition part. Mm -hmm. And um, we he had the knowledge, but you know, never took anybody on the stage or anything like that. But I think everything happens for a reason and we met the right people at the right time. And that's how mm -hmm. I got into the whole industry. And um, that was in 2011. Mm -hmm. And I, because I wasn't a citizen back then, I had to do that. I mean, I won my two first NPC shows. I, I did the Eastern USA. After that, I won the overall there. I won the overall at the New England. Then I won the overall at the, I think it was the Con Connecticut one, I think it was. Mm -hmm. And then I was ready for the Nationals. And two weeks before the Nationals, uh, the IVB called me and um, said that I couldn't compete because I wasn't a citizen. So oh, I freaked out. Yeah, I freaked out a little bit. And, uh, you know, but right there, uh, two weeks from there, from, from that, yeah, from that Nationals, uh, they had the South Americans. So thank God I had my residency back then. So I was able to go back and forth. Mm -hmm. So I did went to Venezuela and I got second place there. And uh, that's how I got my program. Mm -hmm. And then I've been competing since then. Cool. And where did you say you were from originally? Chile. Chile. Okay. Now is is competing pretty big over there? Not really. No. I mean, it's it's a, a very conservative country. Yeah. Uh, girls, girls are not. I mean, they don't train as hard or either. either. And now, like, imagine 2021. Now they're they're starting to you know to to kind of train. Girls are not very you know into training or the whole uh, health health part is not very big there. Mm -hmm. But now they kind of realize that, you know, that's the way to go. Yeah. And, um, but yeah, I wish they were, you know, more into it, like Brazil. Um, mm -hmm. And yeah, so I don't have a lot of support for my country. But mm -hmm. that's why, you know, I represent the USA. I've been here forever. And yeah. I feel, I feel this is, you know, part of me. Mm -hmm. Now, is your husband from there or is he from here? He's from Brazil. Oh, he's from Brazil. Okay. Yeah. Sao yeah. Paulo. Okay. Mm -hmm. So he's, he's probably yeah. big in MMA and stuff, huh? 
<laughs> no, he, he. I mean, he's been in the the, the bodybuilding industry since he was 18 years old. Mm-hmm. So he started like cleaning the gym until like he met the right bodybuilders, and then he started training from there. And then, yeah, since since then, now he's 50. Yeah, almost 50. <laughs> Now, fast forward uh, to now, you have just recently, New York Pro was your last win, correct? Yes. Okay. And then before that was the Pittsburgh Pro, right? Yes. Okay. Very uh, happy with that. Yeah, it's awesome. Let me see if I can find it here. Hmm. That is your, let's see. Oh. Yeah, here's uh, what is one is this? This is Pittsburgh. Yeah, here's New York Pro. Yeah. Uh, I haven't you haven't seen it? No. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, the closest person to you, Shalice, and she was uh, you beat her by three points. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you had you did really well. Yeah. That's awesome. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 11 competitors there. Let's see, uh, let's see Pittsburgh here. Um, same thing here. Well, no, your second place, uh, she, by one point, you got four. She got, she got five points. Christine. Christine's yeah, my turn. poster went so off that there. I was even impressed with myself. I'm like, how did I do that? Mm-hmm. it's just those things that you practice 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 and then you get to that that day and you're like mm-hmm. why did i do that yeah um you know what i was noticing though and i, I was going to ask you this later but now that we're looking at the results here is are you noticing a decrease in competitors and figure um yes i mean i think i mean a lot of the girls are probably waiting for the latest shows uh but i know for a fact that a lot of the girls are very kind of like intimidated by uh by the new york pro and the pittsburgh pro mm-hmm. and uh since day one like for myself i always try to do the hardest show so i know where i'm at in the industry mm-hmm. so if you go to a, like a okay show then you and you win it's like okay you won there but like was they like really really a lot of competition there or you got judged mm-hmm. by the right judges too so I always t- kind of like try to uh, throw myself to those like hard shows so I know where I am and then uh, I know what to fix and then um, I'm ready for the Olympia and try to like battle there, you know? Mm-hmm. Now you've done, you did quite a few shows. Um, yeah. I always try to compete as much as possible. Um, but, you know, I go into like um, either I win a show. Uh, last year it was kind of like, weird but uh i did pretty well like every time i got top um top three uh, i got third second very close in chicago pro i thought mm-hmm. i was gonna win the show but um you know i didn't mm-hmm. and then um um that i missed the uh, the points for a few like nothing and mm-hmm. then uh but i try to always you know once you go to the olympia once mm-hmm. it that's it you have to go every year like you you kind of uh that's what you aim for yeah and what's your highest placing in olympia uh, six, 2017. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I was looking at I, in 2018, you, uh, you went through a period there where you were just, you were placing sixth place at almost all yeah, these shows. And then all cool. of a sudden, and I think you, was it the New York that you won that year? Yeah. And then all of a sudden, mm-hmm. like you just jumped from six, all these six places to first place. What did you do different? Um, I think my life is pretty crazy. Like I, uh, I like the whole, I mean, I use always, you know, what we do for bodybuilding as a ladder for what, where I want to be in the industry, like mm-hmm. as uh, uh, business wise. So, um, but I think uh, I was having a hard time with my legs and, um, and the gym we were at, it wasn't, you know, a hundred percent. We were missing a lot of equipment. Um, mm-hmm. And then uh, I had to stop uh, training legs for, I think almost three years. Mm-hmm. And because they were always overpowering my upper body. And then they stopped training legs. And then when they, they were asking for legs, I was so way behind. And this girl, they're coming in with like this amazing, huge leg, well-defined. And I, I was just lacking on it. And uh, also my diet, my diet and cardio, I kind of like changed everything. 
uh, everything that I used to do, I did the opposite. So before I kind of like prioritized a lot of the cardio mm -hmm. and I, that was a, a kind of like a mistake, not a mistake, but like you live and learn type of thing. Mm -hmm. And then now when I realized, okay, let me just really, really go deep into the dieting part and, you know, I uh, use uh, uh, the cardio as a secondary option, kind of like to give that little, you know, spice to the body, like, you know, that little push. Um, and that's what I did the opposite. And uh, now it, it's working. I barely do cardio, like either 20 minutes every other day if I need to. Mm -hmm. uh, but if I'm like, I ride horses now. So it's like, that's a cardio itself. So um, if I do that, I, I don't do cardio and uh, I walk my dogs. And so it's like, now I really prioritize my diet. And yeah. it's all on the point. And it's easier uh, the, uh, the long, I mean, I gained from Romania to, uh, to the Pittsburgh. So I used to uh, uh, go on stage with uh, one, 146. Like before, before I started carving up, I was 146. And now I started my carving up with 152.6. So that was like a few month difference. But by sticking to the diet and sticking to the workout the way was, I was supposed to, I gained what almost six, six, seven pounds within mm -hmm. six months mm -hmm. of mass. So it's like uh, that really helped. I mean, sticking to that diet to the to the end. Yeah. Now you do quite a few shows every year. Um, do you stay on prep a long time? How, how many months out of the year do you usually stay on prep? <laughs> so it's kind of like I I live it so like deeply. So it's like I don't see it as a prep. Yeah. Or like often, like I always try to, like I said, like I always keep my diet on point. Obviously, mm -hmm. uh, off season, if I want to go for sushi, I'll go for sushi. But I kind of like make the diet work for me. Mm -hmm. I don't work for the diet. I don't stress out anymore. Like, oh, well, how many, how many calories? I mean, you know, how many carbs? I kind of use it. So mm -hmm. if I want to do like yesterday, I did sushi and I did uh, sai. So I'm like, okay, today I'm going to do legs. So I'm going to use it towards my workout. And it's actually working like in a healthy, healthier way mentally too. Mm -hmm. So you have, once you learn your body, once you, you know, you, you live the sport, mm -hmm. a lot of people, they just force it. And when, once you force it, you just keep craving all the time and just forcing the whole sport into your life instead of kind of like leave it, like enjoy the moment and enjoy what you're doing. If you don't enjoy it, why are you doing it type mm -hmm. of thing? Mm -hmm. um and uh, i think like i always say like comp competing you have to have it in your under your skin mm -hmm. you have to love it and you have to um know have, to have the to discipline take. yeah yeah so once you have it it's just easier like i don't suffer anymore mm -hmm. i used to before but then once i learned like i i, I kind of like told myself like am i an athlete or what am i so an athlete always you know lives for that sport mm -hmm. so I learned how to do that and it took a little years. Yeah. Uh, but I think it's never too late to kind of like, mm -hmm. uh, kind of focus and, and, you know, see your, your life. I mean, I, I have, I own a gym. This is what I do for a living. So now it's just, I enjoy every single moment. Mm -hmm. Now is that the, uh, what's it? Pro lifters gym. Is that your gym? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you basically made it, you know, you just made it a lifestyle like a lot of us. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. of course I got, I got the fat kid in me, so I still eat stuff I'm probably not supposed to. <laughs> of course, I can I can probably get away with it more than some other people. So yeah, girl, like girls that I they have to like my husband can eat pizza every single day. He doesn't gain any type of fat, and he like mm -hmm. I saw him yes, I'm like, what the heck? Like you don't even do legs anymore. And his legs are just like there. I'm like, whoa. Mm -hmm. Like I wish I had a little bit of that, but yeah. it is what. It is. Yeah. It, um. Tell about your training. Like um, a few shows ago, I, I had a little question and answer segment. And a lot of the questions were about these women that, that lift weights and stuff like that. And you're a perfect example of one of the questions is like, can you still lift heavy weights and stay? Well, the question was, can you lift heavy weights and stay girly? And um, yeah. you're a perfect example of, yeah, yeah, you can. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, what is your training regimen? Like, do you, is there some days that you lift heavy or is there some days you do high reps, some days you do low reps? What, what do you do? So, um, I did switch a little bit. Like now Tom was just talking to me yesterday. He's like, you need to start, uh, training with me again with legs. I'm like, Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, but, uh, he makes me go like a hundred reps and like, um, mm -hmm. uh, depending on how, like, uh, 
I feel like how I ate, we go, I mean, I, I think it's mostly how I feel. Like, especially when I go, like, uh, when I'm like four weeks out, I'm not going to push myself as hard as uh, I am right now. So like now by, um, like I started lifting heavy a little bit again this, this week, yeah, it was on Thursday. So I already started with like six plates on each side for leg press mm -hmm. and I felt good and I felt like I could do more, but I always kind of like, you know, wrap my knees. I, I take, I take the precautions, uh, uh, for it too, but, uh, I try to, you know, feed myself the, accordingly to the training and that's how you actually perform better. While you're training, I'm jealous of your legs. <laughs> no, I can't wait. To, I can't wait to get them a little, you know, a little bit more. I need a little bit more volume on it. And, yeah. Um, yeah. So, are you done now to the Olympia? Oh, by the way, I put my Olympia yes. shirt on for you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so you're you're yes you're prepping now for the Olympia. So. Yeah, I think you know I uh, I was kind of nervous to to do the the New York, but um um. I said, like, I mean, I love, I always love the New York Pro and it feels like I'm home. So, and uh, I actually asked Steve, I'm like, uh, what do you think? I always ask them now, like before I, I used to be very like intimidated by asking the judges. I didn't want to feel like I was kind of being like, I don't know, uh, like, you know, when you ask them, hey, how would I look? How many, you know, athletes? I was always kind of like intimidated by asking and now I saw that like it works. It's like if you do whatever they tell you to do and you actually, you know, perform <clears throat> and show your work, mm -hmm. they'll reward the mm -hmm. um they will reward it by placing, you know, better. And um, but you actually have to do the work. Uh, <laughs> and then um, yeah, so uh, yeah, I did the New York Pro and then you know, I it was worth it. Mm -hmm. I was like should I do it? Cause I wanted to go to the Olympia by winning, you know, mm -hmm. and then it's horrible to actually win a show. And then the next one you get a second place or third place or even lower. Yeah. And uh, I was like, oh, but mm. it is what it is. <laughs> now do, you, your... do, do the women get rings too? Cause I know the guys get the, the I wish the we got a ring, right? Yeah. That's not fair. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, oh yeah. yeah. So I was like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you sponsored? Nope. Um, oh, that's, that's amazing. Yeah. You should be. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, especially with all these, these wins there. and everything. Maybe you'll get yeah. one now. Yeah, I'd love <laughs> to have uh Yeah, I mean, I, I, I actually like, we because we have the, the whole personal training um, business, so we do 30 minutes, we do an hour, we do online training. Uh, mm -hmm. We have a very good team uh, of trainers mm -hmm. that, you know, work as a before going to Tom and Maria type mm -hmm. of thing. Mm -hmm. kind of like prep that client so we actually really send a lot of business to to companies i'm actually like now i send a lot of business to evagen i mm -hmm. love their product i mean everything that i recommend is things that i actually use mm -hmm. and i feel like they're good mm -hmm. and um and that's how yeah but i wish they would sponsor me yeah right? <laughs> yeah yeah you never know you never know yeah. something could always happen <laughs> yep mm. so uh after Olympia, what's your plans? You just, or you, uh, well, let me ask you this: How long do you plan on competing? Uh, so, like, until I feel it's not my thing anymore, mm -hmm. but I just love it a lot, like so much. And my mm -hmm. husband knows that. He, I mean, he wants babies, but it's like society wants babies, mm -hmm. and like it's just uh, I don't know, like uh, it's yeah, it would be nice to have a baby, but it's like not my thing. Like mm -hmm. I don't, you know, I don't. I, that's why I have dogs. <laughs> but yeah. like I will, I will do it until like um, I feel like okay, I lost that type of thing, you know. Mm -hmm. But I think my body's just getting better with 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 time, and uh, that muscle maturity is there. And uh, and uh, if I, I feel like I can compete with like I'm 33, but like if I see you know the 25 years old girl that like really beating me, that's when you know that's when you kind of like have to step back. But uh, cause the age, oh that's so. <laughs> yeah. Hey, how are you? And, uh, uh, but then, um, uh, yeah, until like, I know, like, yeah, I don't have it anymore type of thing, but mm -hmm. if I'm keep, you know, I keep winning and I keep, mm -hmm. you know, doing my thing mm -hmm. and yep, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. I'll do it I, I didn't mean to ask that. Like I, I thought you should, because you definitely, you're young, you look great. So keep it going. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, oh, there's another thing I was going to, I always ask my, uh, my female guests, how many posing suits do you own? 
How many what? How, how many, many? Po- how many posing suits do you own? Oh, look. Uh, <laughs> every every show I've been working with Maggie uh, Maggie Suits uh, from day one, 2011. Mm-hmm. So she always makes me either you. I used to like she used to make me like around three suits per per year. Mm-hmm. And now we went down to like one or two, depending on how many shows. Like now we, she made me one that I loved. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm like, uh, so what are we going to do for the Olympics? So we have the, something else planned. But I love the whole red thing. Mm-hmm. And, uh, but I, and a lot of the girls, uh, and I, somebody asked me the same thing uh, the other day. Uh, a lot of the girls, like they either sell their suits or like rent them out. And I believe that's so personal because for me, like every single show is so special. Like every single show, either, you know, a family member goes with me or like we have fun, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. so it's like, it reminds me for, of what show I did with them or what year. And just like, um, I just keep them all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's, that sounds like my fiance. She's uh she's a competitor and she, she doesn't want to get rid of them, which I'm glad because I bought the last one. So um so the longer the longer she keeps it the better because i know how much they cost yeah Uh yeah Yeah, i'm Mm. lucky yeah i'm lucky that um maggie sponsored me uh on suit so i'm very Mm -hmm. lucky and i'm very grateful but she does an amazing job i just asked i mean i just say like i want this color we you know figure out if it looks good on me and then she just does her thing Mm -hmm. just you know put the stones and everything yeah, we actually saw we competed together. Her and I, we saw you, and I couldn't figure out where I knew you from. Like I know I've been at a show and I've seen her. We did the 2019 Tampa Pro, and you did that. Oh, uh, the team, uh, 2019, uh, the one Dexter Jackson won. Okay, did it? What? What? What did I place there? Did it... I think you got sixth. I think I, yeah, yeah, not good. I think yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, because I rem- yes, I remember. Yeah. I, I remember before. seeing you there, and I'm like, I, I know I've seen her before. I can't remember where it was, so that was pretty cool. The girl with the long name. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, you're hard to look up to research with that long name because every everybody, oh. all these names pop up and stuff. When I was trying to do some yeah. research for the show, so I actually changed my Instagram name because of it because I heard a comment from uh, this guy in Brazil that he was trying to look for me, it was so impossible because I did IFBB Pro ML Diaz mm-hmm. and then I changed to Maria Diaz and then now it's like so so much easier to to find me. But Diaz is my mom's name. Mm-hmm. Like in my country, we don't use Diaz. We use Baeza. And then I got married and my husband made me use his last name. I'm like, really? Why? <laughs> <laughs> but then, yeah, it was kind of like I had to type of thing. Oh, yeah. And yeah, now <laughs> yeah. Now, does he still compete? No, he never competed. He's like the, he loves coaching. Oh, okay. He's a behind the scenes type of guy. Um, he doesn't like to be like the center of attention type of thing. Uh-huh. He does his thing. He looks very, very good. Like yeah. I, every time I go uh, like to compete, people, I'm like dark with a tan, with a mm-hmm. crazy makeup. Mm-hmm. And people ask him, oh, uh, what show are you? Like, what's your class? I'm like, oh, hello. Like I'm the one competing, not him. Yeah. But yeah. Well, when he comes, he came walking past the screen. He took up like half the screen. I'm like, well, Jesus, that guy's a monster. <laughs> no, he's like the crazy Brazilian. Like, they have like this crazy genetics. So, yeah. yeah. Tell him to share some of it this way. Right? <laughs> <laughs> this way too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, cool. So, uh, man, your countdown now. How many weeks are we from the Olympia? So I haven't count. I think it's 18, but like I'm taking, I'm, I'm hoping that I can start prepping with, uh, I want to say like 12 weeks because I really want to have full time. Mm-hmm. I mean, the short time to kind of like improve my legs mm-hmm. and, you know, take advantage of every single day that I have to train uh, because, you know, it is what it is. We have, we don't have a lot of off season. So you yeah. have to really know what to do and take advantage of that time. Mm-hmm. So you can prove every, every, mm-hmm. every show. Now, who is your rivalry? Do you have anybody? Now, it's a, it's a fun rivalry. I know we're not going to trash talk, but. Uh, no, no. Um, you know what? The thing is, like, uh, the girls, I mean, the girls from my time, they're very nice. They're mm-hmm. very, like, we don't have that cattiness. Mm-hmm. Obviously, we know who, like, who, who can be very, you know, yeah. like, when they on point, they're on point. Now, there's got to be somebody that you're, like, looking at backstage. Like, I got to be careful of this one. Not, not to be honest, like, I always now it's just like the African American girls. They have mm-hmm. this like tiny, tiny waist. Mm-hmm. And it's like every 
the girl can be like not well known, mm -hmm. but you never know because they have this like crazy symmetry. And mm -hmm. those are the type of girls that you like, even though we've been in the, in the industry for a long time and we know what to do. And we come in like for me, like I always try to I always treat every single show like if it was like my last show and I always mm -hmm. come in like very conditioned and on point. I do my makeup the way I did it when it first started, like, I mean, no, I even better now, but like, uh, mm -hmm. I treat the shows like, you know, um, like I'm doing a show, it's not like, oh, whatever. Um, but it's like mm -hmm. those girls that have this, like, you know, this genetics and those crazy symmetry, that, mm -hmm. th that's the girl that you're like, oh, yeah. shoot, never know. So that's why I never like either uh, on Instagram, a lot of the girls are like, oh, I'm going to win this show, I'm going to do this. And it's like, you never know who shows up and you have to know how to deal with it. Mm -hmm. And just because they look good on Instagram doesn't mean they look good on stage. You know that. Yeah. Yeah. That's one thing you, you like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's like a couple of times that I'm like, oh, Tom, look at this girl. And he's like, yeah, but you never know. They can mess up on the, the, you know, the last week or then, you know, they never mm -hmm. come in condition enough and like they can have the symmetry, but condition is one of the main things that I think, you know, every girl should be on point, uh, especially depending mm -hmm. on the judge you, you go for, uh, mm -hmm. the show that you go for. Um, but yeah. Mm -hmm. The girls with the tiny, tiny ways, those are my, like, yeah. 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 Now, who did you, uh, who did you kind of look up to? Who was your, your kind of so role I, model coming up? Role model? I mean, I love how Nicole, even though she's, you know, out of the, the, mm -hmm. the, the show part, I love how she kind of display herself. Mm -hmm. She's really, you know, represented the sport the way, you know, people should do it nowadays, you know? Mm -hmm um and she still even though you know she had a baby and you know she lives the sport and like uh she knew how to represent and i think that was the, one of the girls that i was like um she's a role model for a lot of uh the athletes and uh body wise i love how uh juliana malacarney looked and i always love that symmetry like that whole mm -hmm. style i love larissa race even though she never plays that well but i mm -hmm. love her look mm -hmm. um and then, um, but yeah, I think like Nicole is probably one of the girls that I was like, I love her personality, how she, you know, she, mm -hmm. she knows how to talk and she knows how to display herself. She mm -hmm. was very crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And just for people who are watching, you got a figure and bikini. You two are the only ones that wear heels. Is that correct? I love that about yeah. our division. Oh, I do too. I, I do too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I think it, it brings the, the beauty and the art of, of the body, yes. you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love the whole, you know, you train hard, but you're still super feminine. Mm -hmm. And the heel just makes that, you know, special touch. I wouldn't change mm -hmm. anything about it. And that's why I, would, uh, I wouldn't change my category either. Even though a lot of people, they asked me if I was a physique just because of the, mm -hmm. you know, uh, how lean I can get. Mm -hmm. um, but um, uh, no, I love Now, that. have you ever been told by any of the judges, hey, you need to, you need to back off or you need to move up or anything like that? No, never. Um, uh, you know, um, uh, I talked to Sandy on at the Pittsburgh Pro, mm -hmm. and she said uh, she didn't say anything bad about my symmetry and about my body, and everything was very good. That I was actually really, really happy with it. She just said, "Fix your posing, girl," and uh, and that's what I did. And uh, and Steve t didn't say anything either. Uh, just he just mentioned, just kind of like bring up a little bit more your legs so your 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 waist looks smaller. It's kind of like that to make that illusion mm -hmm. um because you know how you know genetically my my waist is not oh my god tiny miney and uh but you kind of try to make that illusion that it looks smaller than what it really is um but yeah so i'm very happy with that too yeah and i meant i forgot to mention wellness the wellness girls are gonna be mad at me they wear bikinis too or uh heels yes, yeah um so where do you see the uh the future of figure going do you think it's do you think they're going to add anything to this you know they just added wellness and you know the kind of the numbers are going down on some of them but where do you what do you see in the future because a lot of the girls they seem like um uh the whole wellness wellness division being like very big right now mm -hmm. and because it's very appealing for the eye and probably like the figure girls can be can be a little judge mm -hmm. by the you know when you're in you know your regular life mm -hmm. but I wouldn't change. I mean, I don't think they, they're going to change anything. They're probably going to tone, tone it down a little bit, I think. Mm -hmm. And that's how probably when this couple of shows. Um, and then, um, 
but yeah, I don't think they're, yeah, they're probably going to tone it down a little bit because yeah. they were kind of like a little too extreme going almost to physique, but because wellness is there now, they, they kind of have to, but, um, yeah. yeah. Are y'all allowed to cross over or no? I think so, but they're so different now. Yeah. Like from physique, it was kind of like a very fine line from figure to physique. Mm -hmm. It was very fine. So I think that's why now they kind of have to tone it down so that you can really make the, the separation. Uh, but like I like from wellness to to figure, I mean we have broader shoulders. We have so it's kind of very hard for you to cross over. Over mm -hmm. probably likewise, mm -hmm. you know. But you have to cut like half of your body. But but yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, awesome, Ray. I, man, this is great. I'm I'm learning a lot from you guys and girls. You know, you are my first uh, Olympian figure guest. Really. Yes, Yay. my first of the, I had a, my, one of my first shows I did, there's a local lady here, she's got her pro card, and I, she don't mind me saying it, she's 62 years old, and she got her figure pro card at the Masters That's last awesome. year. Yeah. Never too late. <laughs> no, she looks awesome, she's great, I, I had her on the show, I'm gonna have her on again, um, but before we end, um, if somebody wanted to contact you or your husband for training, how do they do that, are, are you taking clients? Yeah, so we do have, um, I mean, our own, now we have people that help us out too, mm -hmm. uh, but we mainly, we're very personal on the online training. So mm -hmm. uh, you have two coaches in one. So I do the whole nutrition part and Tom does the whole uh, training part. Mm -hmm. And if a person, it'll be, you know, they have to start up, if they're beginners, they have to start up with the 30 minutes uh, program that we have. Mm -hmm. And then if we are taking clients, then we go, you know, for the hour training, that'll be with Tom and myself. Mm -hmm. But, you know, special different rates and things like that. But uh, if you guys want to contact us, uh, you guys can go to either Prolifters Gym um, um, Instagram. Mm -hmm. So it'll be Prolifters Gym Instagram or Prolifters FS. That'll be our uh, personal training or an online training uh, page. Or uh, they can email us to prolifterstgym at hotmail.com. Okay. And I'll add the links to the bottom of the, after the show here. Thank you so much. Um, and what are your... What are your words of wisdom for these up and coming ladies, women that, that want to compete and that can't decide what they want to do? So the, um, like if they can't decide what they want to do, what, like, uh, what do you mean? Like, like they can't decide, do I want to be a bikini? Do I want to do figure? Do I want to compete? Also, uh, you know, it depends. Like I always say, like, how do you like to work out? Mm -hmm. So, and you have to see your, your, your structure. Mm -hmm. Eva, I had a girl that she was a bikini and, but she loved to work out hard and we had to always back her up. So let's follow your genetics and let's follow how you like to work out. And then that's how we go about it. So that's, that's why I think wellness, it was a good division to go for because I have a lot of the girls that are bikini, but they love to train legs hard. So um, there you go. And uh, always try to follow, you know, your genetics and how you like to work out and um, that you, that you will have your answer. Maria, thank you so much. I look forward thank to you. seeing you at the Olympia. Thank you so much. And hopefully I'll see you there. We'll say I, hi. You will. And then when you win, you got to come on the show. Of course. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm not putting you on the spot or anything. Yeah. <laughs> right? All right. Thank you. So much. All right. Thank you. All right. All right. Have a good day.